Ron Dalton Jr. and in today's video we are going to be talking about degenerative disc disease which is more commonly referred to as DDD and um, essentially this is a condition of the spine and it's a fancy term for arthritis basically but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some images here and tell you exactly what it is how it develops and that sort of thing and we'll talk about some of the related symptoms and what you can also do about it so in this image here we're looking at a spine and actually I'm going to show you the what happens in the lower back first because this will be a little bit easier for you to see and then we'll go over what happens in the neck it's essentially the same thing but it looks a little different so what we're going to do here is let me take this image and we're going to come closer to the spine and of course you can see your spine right here now if you keep looking at this with me we're going to turn it sideways this is what a normal healthy spine looks like and let me just show you what the anatomy is here so what we've got going on here is this is the tailbone and the pelvis area then you've got the vertebrae which are the bones that make up the spine and you can see that they're stacked on top of each other in between each set of bones is a disc and if you go right behind where the bone of the disc is, you're going to see this opening here, and these yellow things coming out are the spinal nerves. And that's essentially what the anatomy looks like in a normal, healthy spine. Now, what degenerative disc disease is, is if we take a closer look at the disc here, and let me go ahead and just bring it, a picture up here for you. So we've got the side view of the spine. Now let's look at it from the top down. This is what the disc looks like if you look at it at the on the inside. Basically the way it's put together is that you've got this strong outer covering and then you have a soft jelly-like center. And the center is really, really important because that center it's, it's, it has a, a high water content but also it stores oxygen and nutrients in order for the disc to heal if it ever has an injury. Now keeping that in mind let's go back to the image here we'll go back to our our lumbar spine now what's going to happen with degenerative disc disease is that usually due to wear and tear the water content within this, the disc is going to start to disappear so it's going to dehydrate and what's going to happen is that over time if you take a look at the discs they're going to start to get shorter or they're going to flatten now notice what happens I want you to take a look at these openings back here where the nerves are coming out as the disc starts to flatten, do you see how those openings are also getting smaller? Because the disc isn't separating the bones as nicely as it was before. Now there's very little room for these nerves to exit your spine. And when the disc starts to flatten like that, it's going to compress on the nerves and you're going to develop symptoms because of what's happening with the pressure on the nerves. Another thing that happens with degenerative disc disease in addition to the disc flattening like that is the body will start to develop bone spurs on the vertebrae and this is actually a protective mechanism because what's happening is your your brain is saying hey this area doesn't look very stable I need to do something in order to stabilize this problem area so what it's going to do is it's going to develop spurs um, at the tops and the bottoms of the bones and over time if you let it continue to get worse those spurs will become closer and closer together and sometimes they can actually fuse together and that's your body's way of trying to stabilize the area however you don't want that to happen because if that does occur you lose the normal movement in the back and that develops a whole other set of problems that you don't want to be thinking about now with the pressure on the nerves these nerves down here in the lower back they control everything in the lower body so as we continue out here one of the major symptoms that you might develop with degenerative disc disease is sciatica which is this large nerve right here in the leg and you can develop pain that shoots down the legs you might develop numbness weakness sometimes the muscles will start to atrophy which means that they start to lose their muscle tone and they get smaller because they're losing strength the nerves also control everything within the abdomen so you might not start to notice that you're going to have problems with digestion or problems with bowel movements so you might get constipation or diarrhea frequently you may start to lose control of your bowel or bladder with this type of a problem and in addition to that because this is a form of arthritis you're also going to have the typical symptoms of arthritis which is you're going to have a lot of low back pain a lot of stiffness you'll most likely notice that it's difficult when you first wake up in the morning to get yourself going a lot of people with this condition will say they have a really hard time getting up out of bed in the morning and it's really painful first thing but once they get moving it starts to ease up and feel better and that's actually a really typical symptom of arthritis in general uh, but it's particularly true for the spine now let me just show you the image of the neck here since I have one 
Uh, degeneration, like I said, it looks es essentially the same, but the neck is just, the bones are smaller, they're shaped a little bit differently. So you can see the neck here, this is the normal anatomy, you can see the nerves coming out from those openings, and essentially the same type of thing is going to happen as it degenerates, where the discs are going to start to flatten, the opening where the nerves are coming out are going to become shorter, and you're going to start to have pressure on the nerves, and that's going to develop symptoms. Now, the nerves in the neck, however, they control other things. So if I come over here to my symptoms, what you'll see is that these nerves control things like the head. So you might develop headaches, uh, neck pain, vision problems, hearing problems, so things like ringing in the ears or even not being able to hear as clearly as you normally would. Uh, these nerves also control the arms, so you might get shooting pains into the arms or numbness or tingling or those types of symptoms. But also because degenerative disc disease is a form of arthritis, you're going to have the typical neck pain, the soreness, the achiness, and the symptoms will be similar to what we described in the back where it's going to hurt worse usually when you haven't been moving for a while, like for example when you first wake up after sleeping during the night. So these types of symptoms are what you're going to develop with degenerative disc disease. Now what I've done here is if you want to learn more as far as the treatments that are available to you for this condition and that sort of thing, all you have to do is come to my website. It's HealYourBulgingDisc.com and I'll make sure I put a link in the description that you'll find underneath the video while you're watching this. And all you have to do is once you come here, just scroll down on that page. You can read through that if you want to, but you'll find this section here where it lists the different conditions that my website covers. So you can just click on Degenerative Disc Disease and it'll take you to a page where it gives you a lot more information about what is going on with this problem. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, what you're going to see is that I have a table of contents here. And you can read through just about anything you ever wanted to know about the conditions. So you can learn about the symptoms in more detail here, what causes these problems, the treatment options that are available. And in there I talk about medications and I go into a lot of detail here. So any questions that you have about medications you should be able to find on this website. I talk about natural alternatives that you may want to consider, exercises that you can do. We also talk about surgery for these types of conditions. And when I talk about treatments, I go through all of the research that I've found as far as what the success rates are for these things, and if they aren't very effective, what can you do instead to get a better result with them, okay? So I welcome you to come visit the website, take a look at things. I think you'll find it really useful. And I just want to say thank you so much for spending your time watching this video. I hope that you find it helpful, and I hope you have a great day.